You shopping, DJ? Yeah? You cool as a cucumber? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna wait for Ajima. Make sure you guys tell her thank you. She um, got your guys' shoes. And DJ, make sure you tell Gigi thank you for your sunglasses, okay? You gonna show us what you got when we get home? Yeah. Nice. Feel like you did good? Did you find some good sales? Yeah. Yeah? Did work? Whoa. Look at this. Look at this fly gray. Look at, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Look at her. You tell Gigi thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're so stylish. Shopping with DJ. What do you think about this one? Blue? You like it? Yeah? Okay. We'll get that one too. Oh. I can hold them. Thank you. DJ, keep looking. Ooh, or do you like this one better? As As Puma. You like this? Hold up the other one, the regular blue one. Which one do you like better? Eat. Orange? Okay. All right. Hey, are you paying attention? It's Puma. You like this? It's not a, it's not a bunny. It's like, it's more like a cat. You like this one? Yeah. Cat. Cat. Okay. What's what? <laughs> this? You like this one? You like that? Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go check on your sister. Oh yeah, dinosaur. Bruh. Let's look at shoes for him. This one. DJ, where are your sunglasses at? Oh, they're down here because oh. I have a third water and stuff. Bet, bet, bet. Okay. Yeah. You like it? Okay, here. We'll put we'll hang it right here. Let's keep looking. <gasps> oh. It's the same one. <laughs> it's the same one. Make it Do you see anything? <gasps> I did. I did, I did. You want this Mickey too? You want this one? Okay. Look it. This is so cute. The hustle bear. Okay. Boom. What is that? One, two, three shirts. Chase. Chase is on the case. Hey! 
Can you come in my room so we can cut your hair? You want a haircut? Yeah, come on. And we'll watch Word Party in my room. Bring your car. It's gonna be great. Yeah. What? No. It's cold. Exactly. So move away from the window then. Alexa, stop. Okay. You want to sit in the chair like last time over there? Haircut? Yeah, haircut. What do you want to listen to? You want to listen to Andy Mineo? Alexa. Play Jackson Pollock by Andy Mayo. Jackson Pollock by Andy Mayo on Amazon Music. Yeah, that's right, that's right. He's got to tell you the numbers. All right, man. So what we doing? What we doing today? Okay, okay give him right. options. So you want a haircut? Okay, so you're thinking like a, man, like a one all the way around? DJ. All one length? One. Give us a one, maybe a little taper in the back on the sides. Yeah. Let me bring him to some ice picks. Ooh. Make sure I go with the grain so we don't mess up the waves. Oh, oh, oh you want... Okay, I could. Mm. I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna see what I can do. Okay, man. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Light skin, nigga. Hey, let me do it. Yeah, I'll do it for you, man. Don't even worry. I got you. All right. Be still. Don't move. That's the important part, man. Super still like a statue. Look at me, buddy. Look at daddy. Look right here. He did. There you go. So right there. Big boy. Don't Come touch on. it. Black up. Haircut. Black up. Black up. Yeah. DJ. Yes, DJ, sit, sit up. still, man. Right there, keep your head Look that way. Look at her, DJ. There you go. What? Be still. Don't move. Here, I'll turn on word party, but you can't move. Don't move, okay? Be still. Just finished an all team meeting, which is amazing. I don't get, you know, we have people that are in other states or aren't, don't live at the office. So I don't, I don't get to see everybody all the time. So it's just crazy to see how much we've grown and just how many awesome people have become a part of the team. I'm exhausted. I've been up since like two something. Um, my stomach has been like attacking me. It's not even why I was up. Now my body hurts. I just, I'm tired. I feel like, ugh. So, I'm gonna lay down. I'll we'll talk to you guys later. Let your sister fix your diaper. Why don't you want to test it? 
Drink some. I Tell her. Want. Say, drink some. Just drink it. Make sure nothing leaks before you give it to him. Hurry up. He's heavy. All right. Give it to him. What'd you say? Then why didn't you just say you tested it in the sink? Why you go through all that drama for? Oh, Lord. I almost have to dance, Mom. Nice. I almost got it, too. <laughs> all right. I got a DJ decided because it was nap time. And he's hungry. Look at that. I just did it in the sink. Bruh. A mess. What do you want to eat, man? You want a sandwich? Yeah. I think Daddy was getting me rice. Did he get rice? Did he leave? Daddy has fried. What? Daddy has fried. Daddy has fried. Daddy has fried. I think he went for a walk. Do you want a taco? <laughs> that was funny. Uh -huh. What do you want to eat, DJ? What? Chicken nuggets? Okay. Chicken nuggets. Bam. Yes, looks amazing. So I've legit been like momming all morning and then just found out that I gotta I gotta work. I knew I didn't have to work today. I just didn't know what time. And it's like in about an hour. See if I can get myself and these kids together by then. Where, with like some Nike crumbs. What's happening right now? I never tried these, and you know the saying, "Don't knock it till you try it." Well, here I am. I'm trying it, and I, I'm gonna stop knocking it. I get it. Oh, they're comfortable. Yeah, I just feel like there's more comfortable options that look moccasins, a little swaggier. Man Uggs. Man Uggs. Uggs. I don't know about those. No man Uggs. They're puffier. Is that? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that's a those version. Things. Heat. But look, there's more like, like weird more and swag. wavy at the bottom. I think so. Man Uggs, Dion. Man Uggs? Uh, I know like nurses like them. Because yeah, they're like, comfy they and they're like functional. Because like if this. stuff spills, yeah, they're easy to clean. The alien capsule looking thing. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, heck no. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to them. I think those were it, but you were looking at the bad ones. Yeah, Crocs, but there's like, man. they look puffy juice. Yeah. Like with fur? Not, oh, no. I think I like the tweet. I'm gonna find it. Why <laughs> he still got the Crocs on? <laughs> so why am I getting roses right now? It's crazy. <laughs> Cause I love you. It's funny. But that that guy had set another team in before them, so it wasn't the same. So, so we're like, getting set up for a challenge. So let's bring stuff in the room so we can't work. After, so okay, they're blindfolded, they having this conversation. My eyes isn't glued on enough, so it's like dipping on this side, and it's pissing me off. Oh, the door's yeah, still open. He's gonna, yeah. he's gonna be the alpha. Yeah, he's gonna be the alpha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. He's like, honestly, he wouldn't survive that meat. Because of like radiation? Yeah, he wouldn't yeah. have been able to just hop out of there. But like, that scene <laughs> in particular, that scene was like the last minute. Like, they were finished with the movie. <laughs> and that was literally the last thing. Oh, so you gotta wrap this up. So that's why. I got something logically, right? What? You know you're about to go do a mission where there's a bunch of zombies. Where are your suppressors at? What about this? How do you get out of the vault? Is that how vaults work? If you're locked no, in? Like, that's, that's what my main thing. Yeah. And then his daughter, too. His daughter made yeah. Oh, yeah. Who the fluff is Gita? Nobody cares about her. Right. All <laughs> what? Fluff <laughs> <Love> Gita. Find <laughs> your sisters. Hey, um. <laughs> Finish it? Oh, okay. Got tape on your nose? Hi. Hype Off Podcast. Um, love doing Words of Williams live. It's such a vibe. If you didn't know, my husband and I have a relationship podcast, so check it out. It's on all the major streaming apps. Um, and then if you want to watch it live, you can do that also on our website. Ooh. Got some rice. Rice. Fried rice. I'm 
really excited in life right now. I don't know if you guys are picking up on that, but I just am. I love it. There's so many good things that are coming and I just, I can't wait to share them all with you. Ah! You guys, do you know where I am? Can you tell by the lighting? Can you tell? I'm getting my booty tickled at a movie. Yes, sir. What? Yes, sir. What? What? The movie theaters are back open. I'm sure some of you guys live places where they never closed or whatever, but I'm hyped right now to be at the movie, at a Saw movie, with somebody who helped me fall in love with the series. Oh, so, this is pretty amazing. I'm on a date? Like, are you kidding? I'm on a date. I'm hype. So. Somebody's getting something tonight. Yogurt. Did you say peach? Peach? Peach yogurt. <laughs> um. 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 Slap. Nothing. Jellin? How are you feeling today? Feel good? Mm -hmm. You. How are you? Good. How are you feeling today? Good. You ready to get your hair done? Mm -hmm. Let's see what it looks like right now. All this Love hair you, is on this little tiny head. Hey. Let's go. This is just blow dry. <laughs> blow dry. Here we go. Okay, wait, where do you want to go? Where are we going? Where? Where do you want to go? Tell me or we can't go. Where do you want to go? Where? You want to go to sleep? You want to go night night? DJ, why you act like you can't talk? You were just talking a second ago. You came in here with demands. Where do you want to go? Where are we going? Whose house? Alina's house. Um, Alina's house? That's where you want to go? And you yeah. see Cisco? Yeah. And Amaya and Aaliyah. <gasps> and Auntie Alina? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Go, DJ. Go, DJ. Yeah. Can I get Sunny? Oh. Junior. Okay. Junior. We couldn't help but notice you were having a little thing with your friend over there. Yeah, you're being very nice. We won't be hard. Her own fault. She was teasing me. Airplane. Airplane. Right. Junior, we've seen these types 
the situation Tell me. before. Happens all the time. What you need is a little compassion. And maybe some scampi. Hey, I saw that in the mail. And <laughs> maybe some scampi. <laughs> Love you, JJ. Mm -hmm. well, Forky? Is when you see that someone needs Forky. help and you want to help them. Forky! Well, that's what I thought you'd say. Blah, 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 blah. We find it helpful to illustrate with a little story. A story? monkey say? Ooh-ah. Ooh, ah. What else do you see? I can see this. Yeah? I can oh, see saw. this. Mm, I'll probably be in the kitchen. Oh, bitch. Don't force it, Ray. If you don't see it, you just don't see it. Nope. That simple. Nope. Come on, handsome. This way. No <laughs> cake. <laughs> Trying to let him explore. Come on. Ready? Hi, Mom. You want me to hold it? Yeah. All right. Mom? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Now walk around some more? Come on, let's walk over here. Okay. Which way? Okay, lead the way. It's fake. It's a mannequin. Mannequin? Mannequin. Don't point at the lady. Come on, let's go this way. Mannequin, yeah. Don't touch him, though. Yep, don't touch it. Mannequin, big boy. Mannequin. Mannequin. What? Where'd you go? DJ, where are you? Where are you? DJ! Huh? You scared me. Nothing in here either? Is okay. It like... Yeah, I don't want you to force it. Ray's trying to get in the car. Let's go. So we go to Target. Come on! DJ. You're gonna fall. Turn around, pay attention to where you're going. I told you, come on. Let's go. You're not scared, come on. Bye DJ, we're leaving you. DJ, come on. Boy. You're about to get us ran over. Larry, pick him up, please. Yeah. <laughs> DJ, stop. What's that? What's that? No, 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 DJ. No, DJ. DJ, we gotta get in the car. I 
Now get it. Sit back. Safety first. You're tripping. Did you hear what I just said? I said safety first. No, mine. DJ. Put your arm through. Put your arm through. Thank you. You should be embarrassed. Put your other arm through. Come on. Put your arm through. Good morning. Clearly still haven't got new chairs out here, but it's okay because it's still a vibe. It's nice out here. It stormed really bad yesterday. It was like hailing. Like Paulina and the kids got stuck at the mall. It was crazy. I'll put up some um, some pictures I screenshotted looking a hot mess um, <laughs> with her on duo. But it was just like insane, like out of nowhere. So it was beautiful this morning. So I've been out here um, in the courtyard just um, on uh, the Eurasian Bible app that I've told you guys before that I love so much. It was a new devotional day. Um, I finished out a few and then I'm on like the last couple days with some other ones. So, and then I'm also just, you know, I'm in a new place and whatnot. So sometimes I'll even like sit up at night and I'll read through a few days just to kind of like, you know, finish. Like if you had time, you know, reading more than a chapter of your book, you know, so that I can kind of move on. Um, still have the nuggets, but if I feel like, you know, God and I are just done with that role, that we're feeling good on that area right now, but I'm never done with anything. But it's so good. I love my devotionals. So um, I don't know if I had mentioned before, but if you if you use that app and you're like into devotionals and stuff like that, it's so cool because you can do them um, like together. You can do them like with friends and then there's like an area for like comments and stuff at the end. I don't know if you used yours or whatever, you want to do some plans together. Just let me know in the comments and we can exchange, exchange info. If you don't care, you could leave your email in the comments and uh, I'll add you but I don't know if you guys can hear this is you know D's this is a casita right here so D's in here and he's um he's worshiping right now uh he's listening to gyra elevation worship I love that song so much it's Maverick City and others too but yeah yeah I don't know I'm in such like a weird place I feel like I'm in like a good place like I don't know like I'm good but I still got stuff that like I'm feeling and that I'm dealing with and stuff like that on the inside. Like mainly right now is just um, the people. <laughs> this re-entrance of society and just, I think I do good at like, I've come so far with like just being myself and even really just taking the time to really make sure I know and I understand who myself is. But as far as I've come, I feel like I still have like decent sized walls up and I hold back most of the time. Um, and that's not good. <laughs> I feel like content, like it might look with my family, you know, but like, I don't know. I'll think about people. I'll type whole, like I'll type a whole paragraph to somebody and like be ready to send it and be like scanning over what I said and then be like, nah, fluff that, <laughs> like delete it and not send it. I did that with one of my friends um, for like four days straight, like two weeks ago. I ended up telling her, I was like, dude, I've been, been wanting to text you all week, but I do, I'm so like, I don't think I'm like insecure, like who I am, like myself. I guess I feel like I still struggle with like my place in like relationships because people are weird like <laughs> I've really got I've I've come a long way in not making like it about me like if somebody like dogs me out or like does something or ever really really used to like hurt my feelings and I'd be like what is wrong with me and like why would they do this like I'm going through like this whole stuff and now I like it's aggravating <laughs> but I just I just I go straight to God and I'm like hey you I bruh this is this is what we this is what we be talking about this is why 
and I'll be dealing with people because I don't want to deal with stuff like this. And then like, so then all it really does instead of like tearing me up now, is it just kind of like, mm, further keeps me from like going deeper in other relationships that I might feel like are ready to like, you know, go to the next level. Maybe I can be a little bit more vulnerable with this person or, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll reach out to this person for, you know, last minute plans. I have another friend that I think about all the time. She lives, so many people. <laughs> There's so many people that like live so close to me, but I'd be like, I don't, I, I'm new in like realizing that like literally everybody else probably like, functions with a lot of the same insecurities you do. Not to say like every single person has the same insecurities. I feel like we struggle with like the same general things. And then when you get down into categories like moms and like certain communities and things like that, I feel like it's even, it's even more like, duh, that that person is like struggling with probably a lot of the same deep rooted insecurities that you are, especially if like, you're the same age. Like if you're like both like, you know, like early millennials, like say you're both in like your early thirties or whatever. It's like probably you're dealing with a lot of the same things. And it just one of you, just one of you has to like, ah, be vulnerable but you like it's not gonna be me but it's like we're missing our we're missing out we're missing out so much i feel like something that god is like i don't know i feel like the holy spirit is just kind of like, ah, threw it at me like real quick in like the last 12 hours um like dion and i or i don't know we we're going through like tiktoks and uh, my aunt had sent me this tiktok and it was one of those where like you know flashes a bunch of stuff and it's like you know screenshot you know, to see what, you know, your message is or whatever. And then it was like, this was mine. Um, you know, and then I was, I was in my, I was going through my devotionals this morning and the prayer and one of my favorite devotionals was the last day of that devotional was this right here. And it was just kind of like, dude, oh, so stuff like that happens to me, you know, but then, I, and then I'll also be having like thoughts and like feelings that I'm like, mm -mm, that's not me because that scares me. So I know that's you, Lord. But then I'm like, how you know, how you know is the Lord. I'm like, I'm such an overthinker. So then it's like, I feel like lately, there's so many things that are changing and so much like <sighs> that I feel like has to be like the Holy Spirit that's like, okay, so here's this. You've been asking for this direction. You've been asking for this. And I'm like, are you for real though? But that sounds like amazing. Like to me, I'll do that by myself. <laughs> you and me, Jesus, like we'll share together. But it's like, no, I have a calling and a purpose on my life and I'm very, I'm pretty, I'm pretty clear on what it is, like how things are going to unfold and how, how, you know, I, I'm basically trusting the process. I'm doing my best. I'm lying. I'm not doing my best. I'm trying really hard to walk in my purpose and follow all the things that like God, hi Casper is like putting in my head. So I think that this week, like I'm amongst like our team, um, you know, and our Maverick headquarterness. Um, we talk about our 1% um, that we're working on this week. You know, in our meeting, I said like with my working, like getting my balance with my physical activity because last week it was like my diet. Um, and my diet and stuff was really good. And then this week I was like, ah, I want to like do things without hurting myself, but still feeling fulfilled. Um, you know, like if I want to do a TikTok, like I don't want to like be like dying afterwards. So I just kind of have to figure out that balance. Like, you know, if I did laundry, if I'm doing laundry that day, maybe that's a good day to be doing other things that I sit that I'm, you know, that I, or maybe that's not a good day. Sorry, I'm all jumbled. Maybe it's not a good day to like do other things that I do sitting down or like use my arms for. So like days I'm doing laundry, it's not a good day to like do all the kids hair. Like, especially if I'm doing twists and like styles and stuff, cause I'm a perfectionist, especially cause I still got these like claws on. It's like, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> so that's what I meant by like figuring out my balance. But I think like for this week, like, also, I want to be working on just trusting what I really do feel like is just 
the Holy Spirit and just, you know, if it's, you know, if it's good and gracious and kind and loving and everything, like, why not? I think that's why I mess up. There's a lot of good that like gets left on the gets left on the table. You know, there's like that saying, pretty sure it's like a book, you know, just like about like dying empty. Like I'm so full. <laughs> and I feel like I'm doing like a disservice to you guys and the other people that are around me and that's not to say like oh I'm some God's gift to the universe right but I have there's no other me just like there's no other you so there's absolutely things that you can do and you can do and you little one that you can do that nobody else can do and so yes that makes you special and yes that means if you're holding back you're doing somebody, even if it's one person, a disservice. When I was doing Daily Dose, I hated it. I struggled. I struggled. I love the act of vlogging and things like that, but it didn't make me feel good. There was so much stuff that went on in my life that didn't go on in Daily Dose because there was like a small percentage of people in the comments that would like just be so rude and like hurtful about my clips or like suggest to my husband that I be removed from the series and it, it was just like it's about my family though like are you think you think I don't fit in my family like I don't I don't know it was just it was hard and so when I did my hair vlog you know like first jazz life episode and whatnot I it was really an experiment, you know? Like I didn't know what was gonna happen. I was terrified because I was like, people don't like me, you know? And my husband would be like, it's like one little bit of people. It was a little bit of people. It wasn't, you know, like the majority like have nice things to say, you know? And I was just like, I don't know. And then I was conflicted because then I'd be vlogging and I'd be like worried about saying too much or before I, you know, before I got out of bed and fix my teeth. Um, you know, people would like comment on my teeth and stuff or like how I look. And it was just like, dude, I was like, this is too much pressure, yo. Like I got teased my whole life on my body and you know, my everything. And so it was like, it was hard. So like sitting here right now with my lips all crusty and like haven't washed my face yet this morning. You know what I mean? Like this is I've come so far. The fact that this series even exists and I continued and everything. And I'm so grateful to all of you that comment and like interact with me and that I've legit built friendships with like outside of the internet. <laughs> but I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have those people in my life, you know, or have, you know, even made the advancements that I have in my health um, if I wasn't doing this series and, you know, sharing my life and doing something that I was legit terrified and insecure about, but I felt like I was, I was, it was a requirement. I didn't feel like it was an option, you know, so I, I move forward with it. I know there's things that you have in your head, on your heart, on your spirit, whatever that keep coming up. I don't care if you believe in crystals, juju, Jesus, Buddha, or nothing but meditation. I know that you have stuff inside of you that you're hearing and feeling on a regular basis that's good and loving and kind. There's nothing wrong with it at all, but you're holding back. Don't do that. Like, let's work on that together. And I don't know. I hope this made sense. I don't usually be ranting and stuff, but hey, we're working on our 1%. It's our 1% this week. Um, so I don't know. And then like I said, if there's, maybe there's one person that like felt these last 15 minutes and 30 seconds with their whole heart, like, been cool. It's okay if somebody else is like, Jasmine, you smoke too much. Go in the house. <laughs>
but for that 1% that feels me, let me get a 1% in the comments. Um, they were talking something about a bubble train last night. Maybe that's what that is. <sighs> DJ's under the weather. So, we watched The Conjuring last night. Deanna was already in my back, so I kind of like fell asleep towards the end. So, I got to watch it again today. But from what I saw, it was really good. We liked it. Um, we also saw that, uh, a new Spiral, the new Saw movie. We really like that. Um, Nick from The Handmaids is in that movie. Um, but it was, it was good. We thoroughly enjoyed them both. So if you haven't seen them, I definitely think it might be on the screen opinion that they are definitely worth the view. I'm pretty sure you can rent Spiral from like home on whatever the streaming apps are, whatever, like on HBO or something. You don't have to go to the movies, but it was fun. I enjoyed going to the movies. I haven't been to the movies in a long time, so it was definitely a vibe. Um, today is the Logan Paul Mayweather fight, so we'll be picking up there next week. Uh, so I'm sure we'll be talking about it and stuff like that. We'll be active on Twitter and things like that, but it'll be nice to hear how everybody feels about it once it's happened. But right now, I gotta get church going, check on these kids. <clears throat> uh... We feel like something's kind of like going around and I might be getting it, which kind of sucks because just came off a flare. I don't need like a cold flare on top of it. Like that's not a vibe. So we'll see. Y'all pray for me. Love y'all. Until next week. Where restoration.